Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is another video about December 24 pixel drop. In my previous video I only showed you one feature from the pixel drop and the rest of stuff was related to the QPR1 build itself. But today I started to see some of the pixel drop features. Some of them are very excited which I'm going to show you in this video. But I will probably create a third one because I didn't get the full list of features yet. On top of this Gcam version 9.7 is currently rolling out. I'm still rocking the 9.6 version. So once I get 9.7, I will also create a video to talk about the camera quality after 9.7. And if the issues I reported in my previous video that you can see right now on the screen got cleared with 9.7 or not. But for now, let me show you what I have in today's video. And if you want to get notified about my upcoming stuff, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And now let's jump in. Let's start with Gemini and this is the first time to see it very close to Google Assistant when it comes to controlling your phone. And the first one is the ability to make phone calls. Call my US number. Did you want to call my US number? So as you see, now I have the ability to make phone calls using Gemini and the same applies to text messages. Send a message to my US number. Hi, how are you today? Sure, message to my US number saying, Hi, how are you today? Ready to send it? Yes. Sending it now. Beside calling and texting, you can also control your phone settings, take photos and set timers and alarms. So let me show you quick examples. Take a selfie in five seconds. Taking a selfie in five seconds. Increase the volume to 100%. Volume set to 100%. Set a timer for five minutes. All right, I created a timer that will go off in five minutes. We also got a new Spotify extension that you can find under the profile menu, then extensions. And when you scroll down a bit, you will find the toggle over here. When you turn on the switch, you will get this overlay card. Then you need to tap on connect. Then it will take you through a wizard to link your Spotify account. You have the ability to even create a new account if you don't have one by tapping on no, create a new account, then tap on continue, continue one more time, and it will create an account for you. So let's agree and link. And now I have a Spotify account created using my Google account and the toggle is turned on. And now I have the ability to play my favorite songs and discover playlists of any mood. Now I installed Spotify and signed in with the same Google account. So let's see how it works. Play Eminem on Spotify. So as you see, it works as expected as if I'm using YouTube music, which is really nice. But keep in mind the next time you ask Gemini to play music, it will automatically pick Spotify because it's the last option unless you mention otherwise. We also got better integration with Google Maps and now you have the ability to ask for more information about a place on Maps ask it to read the reviews and scan websites to answer any of your questions. So let's give it a try. Tell me about Global Village, the customer reviews and the ticket price. Here's what I found about Global Village. Ticket prices, weekday ticket, 25 United Arab Emirates dirhams, Global Village ticket prices, customer reviews. While I couldn't find reviews specifically for the Global Village in Ajman, here's what I found about the Global Village in Dubai. Overall rating, 4.35 on Google Maps. Positive reviews, large variety of shops, restaurants, and activities. Beautiful cultural displays and performances. Fun rides and attractions for all ages. Negative reviews can get crowded, especially on weekends. Food can be expensive. Parking can be difficult to find. You can read more reviews on Google Maps. Another exciting feature we got in Gemini is the saved info feature. You can ask Gemini to remember your interests and preferences so it can give you tailored responses that matches your goals and needs. For example, if you are a vegetarian, you can ask Gemini to remember this and the next time you ask for a recipe, it will take that in consideration. So let's give it a try. Remember that I'm a vegetarian. Okay, I'll remember that. You can always ask me to forget things or manage what I've saved for you on the saved info page. To access your saved info, you can jump to the profile menu, then you will find saved info. 
And here you can see all the preferences you have. You can delete or edit any of them. You can delete all of them or add any preference manually using the keyboard. So let's see if it can match my preferences. How to make a homemade burger. Certainly. Here's how to make a delicious homemade burger. Ingredients. One pound ground... As you see, the feature didn't work properly because it says one pound ground beef, which is not ideal for a vegetarian person. So let me delete this preference anyways because I'm not vegetarian. So that's it when it comes to Gemini. Now let's talk about Gboard and I only got one of the two new features, which is the new Emoji Kitchen Mixes. You will notice here the Emoji Kitchen Bar now has an arrow at the end instead of the gear icon like before. When you tap on this arrow, you will see a very long list of mixes that you can choose from. When you tap on any of them, it will show you the emojis that created this mix and you have a send button. When you tap on it, it will add it to your text box. You can also choose the type of mixes you are interested in by tapping on this floating button. It will show you all the emojis you have. So you can pick, for example, a couple and here you will get the relevant mixes and so on. And lastly, you can even swipe down to refresh the results and it will give you endless number of mixes to choose from. And the last feature I'm going to show you in this video is called Simple View, which I only got on my 6 Pro. To access the feature, you need to go to Settings, then Accessibility, and then Simple View. All you can do here is to turn on the switch. It says Increase Text and the Icon Size, Simplify Layout, and Add Integration Buttons. Once you turn on the switch, it will automatically change into the three buttons navigation and make everything on your home screen much bigger, as you see here. So look at the folder and how much bigger it looks now. And once you turn off the switch, it will revert back to the exact same layout and settings before turning on the feature. So these are the new features I wanted to show you in today's video. But as I mentioned before, I will create a third one to show you the remaining set of features that I didn't get on my Pixel phones just yet. But before ending the video, let me remind you that if you like any of the wallpapers I use, they are now available on the Wallpapers by In-Depth Thick Reviews app. I'm going to leave its Google Play Store download link in the description if you want to check it out. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.